Hello everyone, today we're gonna make this bear from Pixar movie Brave. I hope you guys remember that. It was a really nice movie which I really like. So today we're gonna learn how to make this. Alright. So I'm gonna do for beginners and you can follow by step by step. Now First, we need a sphere which you can get from to that. Then, make poly mesh 3D. Hit on it. Edit. Then, just give it a shape with the move brush. All right. For eyes, what I'm gonna do? Hold on, one second. Let's do this. Need to have the shape first. Oh, right. Now, now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take my move first and scale it down. With that, I'm gonna push back for this this area. All right. Now, as you can see, we already have, but it's overlapping. As you can see, right? What I'm gonna do? Try one more. This looks better, but again, we can have it better than that. This is all right. Now, what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna take uh, my dance tunnel brush. B, D, S for the Amstano brush. Scale it down. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna hit out and make like that. Now, my brush intensity is very low, so I'm gonna increase that a little bit, not too much. Alright. Now, I'm gonna take standard brush or damn, uh, like clay builder. Just hold on, one second. Just hit, uh, uh, hit all button and just dig it for the eyes, right? Now, what I'm gonna do again, B, D, S for damn standard brush. Now, I'm gonna have it. Out and all right. Now you can add eyes right now, right away. Just uh, add sphere, shift, rotate 90 degree. So you can see the surface, right? So with that, we can add color easily for the pupils, right? Now I'm gonna scale it down very quite small now. A little more. As you can see, I'm gonna scale it down more. I'm gonna fit that into that shape. Alright, not that. Alright, that, that looks good, but still, we need to uh, make sure that fits quite fine. Like, I'm, I'm gonna need to move brush, B and V for move brush. Go on face, adjust it, all right, that looks good. Now, for I, I need to mirror that. For that, I'm gonna go Z plugins, sub tool master, mirror, merge into one sub tool, and then as a new sub tool, I'm gonna do merge into one sub tool, X axis, hit OK. Here we have two eyes. Nice. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take my move brush and increase the size. Sorry, first I need to click on head. I'm gonna take my 
standard brush just add some and now what I'm gonna do move brush with that I'm gonna shape his ears like this all right just give it a sec it will look good in a sec now with this I'm gonna do Now, what I need, as you can see, my mesh is getting spread uneven, which is really what I'm not looking for. So, what I'm going to do in geometry, zero measure, click on the same zero measure. As you can see, now the flow of the mesh goes quite well. All right. Now, I'm going to do I'm going to add one more sphere. Okay. Now, this will be. Hold on. Uh, this will be his nose. Scale it down. More brush. X per symmetry. All right. That is good. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to go in early stage and do remeasure. Okay. Now what happened with this, I can manipulate my uh, mesh fairly easy in this case, right? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the damp kind of brush, I'm gonna create his nose, should be like this, and I'm gonna increase the size of the brush. All right, that looks good. With the damp sun brush, I'm gonna make a crease for the uh, its lips and uh, what do you say, his nose, like this, like this. All right. Now, I'm going to add one more sphere. Now, that will be his lower body. All right. Or as should I say, a complete body. Which, because we're going to make hands and leg or legs with this one. In order to say, we're going to do the same thing, same zero measure. All right. Now, what I'm going to do with this, give it fairly smooth like rough shape for the body with the move brush bmv of that bmv all right kill it all right i'm gonna give x symmetry x for symmetry give it a fairly shape very rough shape. All right. From behind, it should be his neck, back, see it? And his feet. Now, this is gonna be his uh, belly. Just wait. We'll see. It's the last step. All right. The dance and brush, which we can do now, is give it a rough shape. All right.
All we can do in this move rush completely make it like this. All right. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this will be his legs. All right. So be his back. Now I'm gonna drag this mesh All right. Now don't worry about the mesh because we're gonna do a remeasure. All right. So with that, what will happen? All right. We'll have equal distribute mesh. With that one brush again, we're gonna give a little bit uh, details. All right. Now I'm gonna give it the details like this and like this. All right, for the hands, there it comes from, and for his legs, and the body. All right. Of brush, sorry, B and V. All right, and for the tail, I'm gonna scale it down, just alt, and drag it, and that's our tail. All right, for hands, I'm gonna do spread it out, and for the legs, what I'm gonna do is take this here, drag it back. I can see we have two legs for him, and like this, smooth it out, like this, all right, now with that kind of brush, I'm going to go and give it a little bit more details, or we can subdivide, with this we have a little bit more mesh to work with, Smooth. Whenever you need to smooth, just go to the lower subdivisions. With that, you can easily smooth it out. All right. Now, as you can see, the flow from the neck to his hands is like one smooth flow going. All right. We're gonna do that too. But first, what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this get done. Alright. And with move brush. I'm sorry. BMV. We're gonna have a little bit dense. Alright. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give a curve for hands, all right, like this. Now I'm gonna make sure that it goes back the way it should. Now, if you need to work under any other sub-tool, just high others. All right, that will be great. All right, now I'm hide it. As you can see, we can easily create that now for the shoulders. What we're gonna do? Just 
Very bad. Now, All right. For hands, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm not able to work. If I'm moving hands, the legs, partially the legs are moving together, right? What I'm going to do with this. Sorry. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to isolate this part, okay? With the control shift X, I can increase. I'll take the hands and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do control W. What will this do? It will give you that part of the mesh a different polygroup. What will polygroup will help you with? It, it will give you a different colors, right? With this, you can isolate easily anytime whenever you need. Just click on control shift and the polygroup which you want to make it isolate, right? Or you can do one thing, like uh, if you want to hide just one group or two and others should be visible for you, so do one thing, just say select, which is easy to select, all right, then control shift and drag on the artboard, with this you will have the other things visible except um, the polygroup which you have selected first. All right, with this I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give some thickness to the legs. And I'm gonna make, cut with this. All right. Pause for the pair. And yep, uh, that looks fine for me. Now I'm going to isolate this and yeah, like this. I'm going to do this thing first. All right, as you can see, it has um, pause with some fingers, a little bit shape of fingers, not quite. But what we're going to do here, we're going to give first some thickness to it. All right, that looks fine. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a damp sanded brush and go to higher subdivision, scale your brush down, just, just roughly make a shape of fingers. With this, we'll have like this. Now, if you feel something is going wrong or something is not going with the flow or concept, okay, just go to the lower subdivisions and move, brush, just increase the size, the move brush, and try to tweak it. All right. As you can see, for here, this part, I don't feel like it's a good design, like good flow. What I'm gonna do, lower the size of my brush, smooth it out. All right. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to higher subdivisions with the damp side of the brush. I'm gonna do some curves, some details, like um, this. And smooth it out. All right. Now, as you can see, my mesh is very, uh, very, way too tight. Or I can, I can't do anything right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the sub uh, Z measure. Can you take it? What will, what it will do? It will divide it really nicely. So with, with that, you can work easily. But Remember, whenever you do um, zero measure, you will have one option. Once I have done the same, I lost the polygroup, right? What I can do to preserve the polygroups, what I can do is 
keep groups, okay, and uh, always keep zero your smooth groups, right? Now hit. Now I have my groups preserved plus I have the mesh like the, the way I wanted the mesh to flow. All right. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna isolate this and with move brush. Why am I doing that? All right. I need to move inward, right? I can increase anytime I want. All right, that looks fine. That looks fine. Now I can do one more thing. I can move a little bit less upwards. All right, with this, I have a little bit better flow, right? I'm going to smooth it out. All right. With this, I'm going to take that sound brush and do the size. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to carve it again, smooth, all right, that looks good to me. Now, as you can see from behind, it's very, way too narrow for my test at least, because uh, as you can see, concept art has some kind of thickness from behind. And as we would, it should be. Just smooth it out and all right. I'm going to keep it like this. Now, I need to bring it front, but not with the hands. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come closer to center and just drag it with the move brush. Isolate. All right. Just adjust according to the shape and to the according to the concept. All right. Let's go slow. Mm. Do not rush for any detail. You can give a detail any time, but don't do not rush for that. All right. That looks good to me. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go and add a chunk, like subdivisions to it. All right. Now with this set, um, damn seven brush, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add like this and control. I'm gonna have a little bit detail over that and. Smooth it out. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to that looks good to me. 
and I'm gonna do a little bit of details here. All right, and I don't feel the face should be look like this. But move first, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just see. First, I'm gonna isolate this. I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna mask this area first. All right. Now, for shape. Okay. All right. Damn, smooth it. The damn standard brush, I'm gonna give it a crease. All right, that's that is good. Now, I'm gonna give it a crease. Around the arm and to the ears. All right, that looks good to me. I'm gonna add one here. All right, that looks good to me now. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add color. All right. I'm gonna show you one thing. Uh, with that, you can easily create, like uh, paint it. Take any brush, I'll select uh, standard brush, RGB. Deselect uh, add, Z add, and select color from here. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna select the dark gray. Okay. Now you can go to colors, fill object. Now, as you can see, my face is selected, all right, so is color, fill object. Now, opacity is uh, 41, that's why it's getting a little bit little. If you wanted to do one time complete, give it a 100% intensity, right? Now, I'm going to do the same thing for, for body, colors, fill object. Right now, as you can see, nose have a different color, a little bit lighter. Right, I'll keep more for the sake of this video. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. Fill object now, eyes have a pitch black. All right, but I'm not gonna keep it pitch black, I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter. Same thing, fill object now with the nose. What I'm gonna do. With the same color, I'm gonna paint on his nose. For paint, select a standard brush, RGB. If you have a Z, add Z sub, remove it, like deselect it, just paint on the nose. All right, because of size. All right, that's look good. Now, what I'm gonna do, one last thing, that will be eyes, all right. What I'm gonna do with the eyes, first I need to move this. Alright. I'm gonna go to the um, here. RGB, I'm gonna deselect RGB, click on N. N is for material channel, as you can read here. Click on it, keep it 100% intensity, go to materials, select toy plastic. With that, just do the same thing as you do it for a color. Fit object, all right. Now again, go back to your mat cap, all right. Now you can see we have done our pair. Now one thing I forgot about that. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna select the color of this, and I'm gonna go to face. Right, I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint on this. Select the RGB. Deselect the material, 
I'm gonna paint here like this. All right, and I'm gonna paint in ears. All right, that looks good. All right, folks, that was it. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to hit the bell icon.